uh, I would call upon Ethan Goldbatch, my colleague, uh, faculty at uh, AUW. Ethan will be taking uh, the sad part of the summer school. Ethan, will you please come and introduce yourself? Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ethan Jacob Goldbach, and I'm an educator from the United States. Presently, I am an English language instructor here at AUW through the Pathways for Promise program, which we uh, heard about briefly earlier. Uh, over the course of this uh, summer camp, I will be the SAT instructor, as well as providing support for our colleagues who will be teaching the primary uh, instruction in physics, uh, sciences, and mathematics. If you could talk about what you want to talk about the curriculum, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. thank you. So, pop quiz. Who can tell me what SAT stands for? Uh, you're all very bright. It helps that I gave you the answer, right? <laughs> Yes, of course, that's what it stands for. But can anyone tell me what the SAT is in actuality? Aha, that's good. It's what, sorry? It's an exam. You get by students in English and language. Exactly, yeah. Precisely. It's an entrance examination for universities. So this will be particularly useful for your students who want to have an international undergraduate education, specifically if they want to go for their undergraduate courses in the United States or the United Kingdom. Most universities in the US require SAT tests and results. Um, so that's why we're including this as part of the curriculum. Uh, it's broken down into two parts, mathematics and English, which is both reading and writing. So you can see that these are the different parts of the syllabus that we will be covering over the time of those five weeks. You'll notice also at the bottom that we will also include time for two complete practice tests so that your students can feel fully prepared if they choose to take the SAT examination. One will be held midway through the course and one at the very end so that they can feel fully prepared. Um, so it is particularly useful in the United States and Canada, but it, all, it is also accepted in the United Kingdom and Australia. Uh, it is a written-based examination that is proctored by the College Board, and it, there is a required fee to take the SAT. Uh, there is a score range that can be a bit confusing, but most U.S. colleges recommend a score of between 1,000 at kind of a minimum, ideally around 1,200 or above. Having a perfect score of 1,600 is quite rare, but if possible, we'll do our best to help your students shoot for that goal.